the fourth concerto somehow makes me think of the Mona Lisa. There are certain pieces which have kind of more ambiguity to them than others. And I think part of the reason the Mona Lisa is so held up as a great painting is just the ambiguity of the expression in her face. And, you know, outwardly, the fourth concerto is a fairly placid piece. I mean, obviously, the slow movement is something of, with a great deal of tension. But the outer movements tend to go by just beautifully, very tunefully. Um, a lot of wonderful material, but just precisely how you find the feeling in it is something that's very ambiguous. You know, just what the exact flavour of it. So it's a very, very involving piece to play. How you get the sense of the span of it and how that slow movement, which is very short. I mean, actually on the page, it's, it's three pages long in orchestral score. And it's extraordinarily short. And yet with very strong tensions between the piano and orchestra. Andrew Manzi and I have never worked before, but I've heard him conduct a number of times and we've met a few times and I respect so much how he conducts with obviously a deep passion for what he's doing without anything gratuitous, but just, just great instinct. So I'm very excited to be doing these pieces with him. And I've worked with the BBC Scottish a lot. Over the years, we've made some recordings together and I've performed very often. It makes a big difference. Coming back to somewhere simply where you have friends, you know, some of my college friends play in this orchestra. And it's slightly less tangible than when you play chamber music with friends. I mean, there, the sense of trust is, is very important and it fundamentally changes the dynamic of performing if you get on well with people or you don't. Playing with an orchestra, there's you know, slightly more distance. You know, physically, there's distance and the kind of musical interaction isn't, it's not so personal, you know. The principal viola is a good friend, but you know, we're not gonna have enormous chemistry between the two of us when there's a whole orchestra there. But still, I mean, apart from anything else, just a sense of ease, knowing that you kind of know each other, you know what each other does, and you kind of got a history of enjoying playing together. I think it's important, and it, you know, it's like anything, the more you do something, the more comfortable you get. So it's great coming back. Mm -hmm.